Hey guys, it's been it's been a long time since I've been sat down in front of a, a camera in the middle of my art studio. It's been a while. Hi, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone who's been checking in like, hey, are you gonna make art videos? I was trying to, but I just could not and I'm sorry, but I'm here. I've been wanting to make an art video for a few weeks now, four or five weeks, I've been sitting here, I'm like, just just record something. And it's it's been really, really hard to, to make myself do that. And there's so many reasons why. But today I had to make a video. Um, Cause I'm in an art show. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I forgot about this, how this came about. I just, I don't, I don't know, but I, I need to do the things for the art show. Like, let me just go ahead and tell you all about it. So basically, I guess in January, I had been um, in conversations with a gallery that I've been featured in before a few times. Actually, they are the ones that still have a, just a hold of two of my first paintings that I ever put in a gallery or just held and showed um uh this painting right here just a moment and then this painting i'm um, right here which is my campfire-y um i even see it's been so long since i've seen held looked at this painting i actually forgot what the name of this painting is so i'll just put it i'll put it right here but um one that is the reason why i hate selling my paintings and putting them on display with galleries and everything like that because I'm so attached to my work. I make this work personally. I'm not a big seller of my work because it kind of hurts my soul when like I have to separate from them. I'm like, it's a whole thing, you know, very artsy, weirdy kind of thing. But anyway, this gallery has two of my paintings and they've had them since before the pandemic. They were on display for the pan uh, before the pandemic took place. The gallery closed down for a couple of bits. They put them in storage for me. And then um, after they came out of, you know, like, you know, their protocols and everything and they reopened the gallery, they put them back on display. So these two paintings have been gone since 2019. Yeah. Uh, actually, the top end, of, it might have been 2018 when I put those paintings in there. That's crazy to me. Um, but they reached out to me in January to say, hey, we're doing another art show this summer. We'd love to have as many pieces of yours as you'd like to drop off, honestly. They have a secondary location at this point. And so they're like, you know, bring the paintings. And I agreed in January, um, not realizing that my typical kind of like, uh, winter seasonal depression, art slump that happens in January, literally every year, um, was going to turn into another full-blown art slump where I didn't paint. And honestly, 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 I blame my cousin Kyrie. I love you, Kyrie. If you're watching this video, I love you so much, and I love that you got me this gift. He got me the biggest canvas I've ever worked on. I, right now, again, it's been six or seven months since Christmas. I don't know what size this painting is. It might be 48 by 48. It might be even larger. All I know is the painting takes up this whole screen. I've shown it off a few times, but I'll just insert a picture of it. Um, and this was when I actually was already in the middle of working on another big pa painting portrait like series of things all in December that I hadn't been finishing and I was feeling that winter depression of not wanting to be creative like come upon me and I so I had this painting which is also right behind me in the corner but just here's the photo of where it's still at yeah so I was in the midst of struggling with that painting he gave me this big canvas I had ideas for this big painting um and then it just turned into a Every time I looked at this painting, I just got the, ah, like the spooky, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. This is too much work. I don't know if this is good. All of like the, the, the negative thoughts just sparked with this painting because it's so big. It is so big. It is such a big lift and art slump. Mind you, I was already in a slump and I appreciate this gift because at the beginning I was so like excited because it this is a 
a canvas size that I could just spread across, you know? Like that exuberance that I have with painting, that like joy and that like curiosity and funness that I get when I paint, I had it immediately. I'm like, oh, this canvas is big. I can do this, I can do that. But then too many ideas happen, too much like back and forth. And it's probably good, honestly, that I took the time off that I did. It is probably good. Um, but it meant that I immediately just was like, after a couple of weeks, I was just put off and I couldn't paint. I was already feeling slightly off as I always do at the top of the year. So you like, you see the circle that I put myself in? But, but all of that's changed, you know why? Because now I have to go figure out which paintings are going to a gallery. And did I mention that it's tomorrow? So <laughs> that's why we're in the corner of my studio. Yay. Um, because first I need to figure out which paintings I am bringing. And if I'm bringing every single painting or if I'm just bringing in a selection of work. And here's my struggle, right? I have all the paintings in the world in this office. And I want to show my best work, but I also have a lot of old pieces. There's nothing wrong with them. They're a little, you know, a, a few styles away from where I was currently at before my art slump. So some of them are older styles. They're different styles. They, they don't match and they don't, they're not cohesive as like bring everything in this one collection. And I was building towards recognizability in my work. I, I want you to look at my paintings and know immediately that this came from me. You know what I mean? Like know and understand and see the characteristics that are in fact my style, me personally. It took me so long to build my style in my art in the first place. I spent the first few years and I had the artist diaries to prove it on this channel. <laughs> it took me so many years to actually sit down and figure out my style and then evolve my style. And over the years, you know, you grow, you change, you like more things than you liked before. For example, I used to paint only exclusively forest paintings, which is why just a moment is set in a forest. But more recently, my work has been Huh, recently, six or seven months ago, 2022, because definitely not 2023. <laughs> but anyway, my most frequent work that I finished, um, it was all to do, and kind of based on my experience of like not doing anything during the pandemic, like I took it seriously, I stayed my behind home. <laughs> but then in my work, I'm painting scenes like this, okay? And like this, and... One more here, this, yes. Like, I wanna be in the movie theaters. I wanna be outside. I wanna see the opera. I wanna be in a big, crazy, uh, forbidden fruit themed, like, celebration of people just being surrounded by people. That, that, so. So that's where the question remains here is, which paintings am I gonna bring to this thing tomorrow? And then I need to clean up the paintings. Like they need to be able to go to the gallery because I know some people, they don't do like, they paint the thing and then they leave it, but I need to do the edges on some of these pieces. I need to do varnishing. It needs to be dry. I need to make sure my signature is on these. Ah. I need to name some of these paintings. Some of these don't do not have names. I did name them. <laughs> so like I don't I don't know. So a little overwhelmed because I got the email that was like, hey, reminder, drop off is Sunday. Like Yay. Yay. So um hmm, I figured this would be a uh, video that needed to be filmed where I'm just kind of like, hey, I'm back. I had an art slump. I'm here, but also there's a gallery drop off tomorrow. So let's pick out the paintings that we want to ship. And I've like already gotten started a little bit. So I'm going to take you hands free really quickly. We already started emptying the walls. So these paintings I'm not, I'm not going to bring with me. Um, this painting because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This painting I would bring. It is my favorite. 
it's just my favorite thing. I just love the contrast and the color choices. And I feel like this is a, a painting that really looks like me, but honestly, it looks good from afar, but when you get up close, I feel like there is so much that really needs to, to be like fixed on it. Like the proportions are a little off. There's different finishes throughout the painting. There's like little, little just like, like errors that I would want to fix. And I don't have the time to do that. So yeah. And then this painting right here is my favorite painting of all time. It's the thing that started my style. I'm never giving that away. I don't want to show it. I don't want it to be away from me. So it's not going to be. It's going to stay right there. Um, and then these are older paintings that I don't think that'll fit. So let me show you what I am going to bring. So first things first, this black opera painting that you see behind me, it's linked here for this video. It is my most experimental painting to date. It had a big concept behind it. I've talked about it a hundred times on this channel. I've been scared to take it off of the wall. I get so attached to my paintings, you guys. I get so attached. I don't paint for other people, which makes each painting that much more personable to me. I get attached. And honestly, I have the memory of the fish. If I don't have something constant and present and just reestablish in my brain every day, I will forget the thing. It, it's, it's a quirk of mine. It might be ADHD. I don't know what it is, but like, I've already forgotten, well forgotten, how I even painted this, which is why I make these videos, honestly. I make these videos as a reminder of the process, of the 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 inspiration. It's, it's there as a constant reminder for me so that these things will never leave me. And I feel like if I get rid of this painting, one, that I won't be even accurately able to describe it to other people. Like I talk about it so much, but I feel like I, I feel like I'm not able to convey the idea so much and I would hate for people not to get it. I don't know. Mm. And then the other thing is I, I don't want to forget this painting. That is a that is a big thing. I do not want to forget this painting. I love this painting so much. I was painted this as I was getting my master's degree and almost failing a class because a teacher hated me so much and getting through that and putting that anger into this painting and then fixing that class and graduating school with like honors and like this painting was here for so much. It was here for this new apartment. It was here for so much of my art journey and so I don't, I do, but it's such a good painting and people should see it. People should see it. I've seen it for years. It's been right here as a daily reminder to me and I love it and I need to make an art print of it so I have that forever, but like, you know what I mean? Ugh. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The next painting I'm thinking is not technically finished. Honestly, have I even shown this to you guys? I haven't done anything with my art channel in so long. I filmed videos that I never edited, never filmed, and now they feel unfresh, out of date, without context, and I don't even know if I'm gonna go back and edit them. I don't even know what footage is there. Um, but one painting I was working on throughout December, and then this is where it landed. This is my, like, surrealism. Am I saying that right? No. But this surrealism painting that I did with this guy who is cherishing this black woman stepping out of the painting because uh, it's magic coming from the castle within because it's magic and just serving her and uh, just loving her and just being in awe of her and she's just owning it she knows you don't have to tell her she she is taking this in she is relaxing she is a queen that she is and this painting was done but wasn't done because I wasn't happy with like the ending finishes and I don't know if I'm happy with it but I want to show it off right so do I have time to fix the things that I want to fix on this or do I leave it and the main thing that I want to fix is <laughs> I hate her hair I don't like the color but I feel like if I change the color I might end up changing the hairstyle and I like the hairstyle um, but there's also little things I could fix on this, but I don't know if I will. This painting is 
my ballerina painting, which it was an odd shape for me, an odd experimentation. It has different girls painted up and down in this cool kind of complex story. I like it, but again, it feels like it's older for one, and it's a fun painting, and I feel like it doesn't fit the style of work for the majority of my other paintings. But who am I kidding? This also is very reminiscent of this painting. And I feel like it gives off me, eh. But I don't know if it takes the collection of paintings into like a different place. So I'm iffy on this one. I don't know. This painting, this painting took me out of my art slump in, 2021 22 last year actually god was this last year this painting man i love this painting this is my favorite thing i painted last year it got me again out of my art slump and i just the girl and her expression and her hairstyle and the highlights and everything about her right there i absolutely love and i don't know if i'm ready to get rid of this i look at this painting so much this should go, but I have that attachment that we talked about and I don't know. But if it does go, then this one has to go, which is the painting, the opera inspired painting that I did last year, which fits the theme of this painting. We should send it, maybe, I don't know. My sister suggested I bring this painting. She said it fits in the way that it feels like she's getting ready to go to any of these events that I painted. And I like that idea, right? I like that story. She's going to attend one of these events. Which event is it? Is she going to the Magical Castle? Is she going to the Black Opera painting? Is she going to the movies where this orchestra is taking place? And it ties in the green that is heavily featured. So in that way, it looks, and I use this color a lot for skin tones. I need to branch out a little bit because <laughs> it's in every painting almost, but. So we have that. And then finally we have, of course, of course, my forbidden fruit painting, which I spent weeks and weeks and weeks painting. So, and that one will probably definitely go. But, but there's also the caveat of, there's this gallery that I'm dropping off for tomorrow and they'll take any paintings. However, there is a separate gallery at the end of Jul June, June 29th, that I need to submit two paintings for. And those two paintings are gonna be up for a um, group member show. And so there are awards, prizes, and like honors. And that is actually, that event is where I sold my first painting. So the paintings that go to that show need to technically be the good paintings because they might win prizes, they might be sold, but if they go there to be sold, then they might not be here anymore and then I'll have anxiety, so yay. Yay. <laughs> so, uh, that's all that's going on. I am going to try and pick what these paintings are, edge them, sign them, finish them, varnish, all of that, and then hopefully, Hopefully there is more videos about this going into the gallery. There are videos of me making art again. This has had the surprising, maybe unsurprising, like <laughs> effect that I want to paint now so that these are properly prepared. So I don't know, maybe this will get me painting again. It's been a long seven months. <sighs> but, but, <laughs> for right now, this is the end of this video. I am tentatively back, but I make no promises. Um, the one thing I will say is that I did film an art book haul of every single book in my art collection. I just never edited it, but it's finished. So maybe I'll post that next without context. I'm just gonna drop it on the channel like boom. Like I haven't been missing for so long. Hmm. <laughs> and then maybe we'll be back to making videos. Thank you to everyone who's been asking and checking in and seeing where I've been and making sure I was good, but also asking what the videos are. You were little motivations for me to kickstart things. They just, I never got there until this point, but tentative hello, tentative I'm staying here, and a tentative I will see you next time.
My name is Marnie Nicole, and I'm an acrylic painter sometimes when I'm not in the art slump, and I'm out.